corrective action to get our economy moving again and our people into work represents a tragic waste of talent, aspiration and confidence for more and more of our citizens. Mr Deputy Speaker, my constituency has the highest rate of unemployment in the country. Unemployment is 21.6% in Ladywood. Youth unemployment is at 11.2%. That's 2,200 young people looking for work in my constituency. From March last year to March this year, there has been an 84% increase in the number of young JSA claimants out of work for more than six months, and a shocking 91% increase over the same period in the number of young and unemployed out of work for one year or more. Youth unemployment alone is set to cost Birmingham as a city £400 million in the coming decade. Behind each of these statistics is a young person bruised and battered by their experiences of job hunting under this government and terrified that they will be part of the lost generation. They tell me that they have worked hard overcoming difficult social and family circumstances to get qualifications only to find that none of that matters. It is depressingly normal. Confirm that the Health and Social Care Act creates more quangos than the Public Bodies Act abolished. No, sir. Adam Freer. Uh, thank you. Work programme ministers absurdly have banned work programme providers from publishing any data at all about their performance. That is the opposite of his open data policy. What's he doing about it? Yeah.